Antarctica is one of the most beautiful and extreme places on the planet. Skiing 600 kilometres, unsupported and unassisted to the South Pole, I learnt just how harsh the environment is. However, it is also a very fragile environment, and despite how remote it may seem, our actions from afar are creating dramatic changes there. Changes that will affect all of us. It's a cold truth of global warming that we're influencing Antarctica and Antarctica will in turn influence us. It's not simply the fact that we're changing Antarctica's ice sheets and they're coming to visit us, essentially melting and changing our coastlines, but we also have an impact on Antarctic biodiversity. Species are already under threat. Probably most notable amongst those is the emperor penguin, and forecasts are that we may lose this iconic Antarctic species before the century is out if we continue with our emissions the way we are. We think of changes through, through global climate change, but some of those are still uncertain. If we think about sea level rise, the forecast is by the end of the century it could be 40 centimetres, it could be 70, or it could be 2 metres. That's a huge difference to planning. We really need to reduce that uncertainty in both local and global impacts. And for that reason, SAFE was formed. SAFE stands for Securing Antarctica's Environmental Future, and that's really what the program is all about. It's funded by the Australian Research Council as part of a special research initiative in excellence in Antarctic science. Our research really aims to understand the impact of climate change, past, present and the future, and that includes the ice sheet, the ocean and the atmosphere, and how those systems interact. We're also really interested in how the biodiversity responds to climate change. Biodiversity in the Antarctic region is incredibly rich and varied, but we have a relatively poor understanding of the system as a whole and how it's responding to change. One of the really key roles that SAFE is playing is in developing tools to forecast, mitigate and then manage how climate change will impact Antarctica. We're working really closely with government and policymakers to identify conservation priorities to help make the right decisions for Antarctica's future. In 1991, the Madrid Protocol, or the Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty, was signed and it sets aside Antarctica as a natural reserve devoted to peace and science. The Madrid Protocol has in mind a collaborative environmental stewardship approach informed by the best available science, and that is exactly what SAFE is providing. We have a program partner in the Australian Antarctic Division, and we have partners in government, universities, and others both in Australia and abroad. As a consequence of the support we've received, we're in an extraordinary position to secure the future of Antarctica, the Southern Ocean and the environments that make up the region. My generation will inherit the worst consequences of climate change. As someone who has had the privilege to explore Antarctica and see its beautiful and fragile environment up close, I feel a strong sense of responsibility to help protect it. And that's why I'm excited to work as part of the team at SAFE. The future of the planet is on thin ice, but we have an opportunity to steer things in the right direction. And if we can secure Antarctica's future, we can secure our future.